it's my birthday omg i'm just from the shower i'm feeling so fresh there's this one song that summarizes my life right now so for my birthday let me sing it for you listen to the words okay listen to the words it's a ghanaian gospel song and i think it fits this occasion given that i've just turned one year old i've been dealing with so much you guys have no idea but one day you will know but god's grace has been sufficient so that's what's up if you think i know how to sing drop a comment <laughs> if you also think i can't sing drop a comment and let me know but i'm so happy i'm so grateful to be turning another year old and to have my family in ghana at the same time and because of that i have a surprise for my family so come with me <laughs> Good morning. How was your night? Hmm? Yeah, my night was all right. It's like you've come with the gun. You've come with a gun? Yeah. <laughs> Looking at my head, saying, Dad, oh. uh, see your last prayer. No, hey, God forbid. <laughs> I just came with the camera. Yes. Good morning. How was your night? My night was all right. Okay. So? Yes. What does that look like? This looks like... No, the other side. Wait a minute. Okay. The other side. The other side again. Yeah, you turn. Mm -hmm. um, what does this side look like? It is uh, a plane flying away. Okay, you can open. This is a flight. Flight ticket. Uh, flight ticket. To. To where is it written? To where? <laughs> you can't sit where flight ticket to Kumasi flight ticket to Kumasi yes you've always wanted to go to Kumasi right mm. therefore I wouldn't let you leave Ghana before visiting Kumasi mm. even if it's your last region oh but no so I booked your flight to Kumasi. We are leaving today at one. I've always wanted to go to Kumasi because uh, Accra is the capital, and I've heard of Accra many times. And the next place where I have had so much when I'm uh, in Kenya is Kumasi. So what did you hear about Kumasi? Now, Kumasi, uh, I have just been told that Kumasi is a good place. Uh, the climate is a bit milder. In I've been told that it is an agricultural area. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, I'm not really sure. There is also another football club. A football club. <laughs> Which I thought was coming from Kumasi. I have not forgotten the name. Mm. Mm. I think you've ever mentioned to me before. Mm. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> hey guys, if you know the football club my dad may be talking about from Kumasi, drop a comment and let me know. <laughs> hey, Kumasi, here we come. A few moments later... Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, please don't fall. Ooh, this baby. Good. Okay, guys, so it's 9.30 a.m. in the morning, and I wanted to give you guys a farm update because many of you guys have been asking for it. You guys are like, Trudy, how is the farm? Trudy, did you weed your farm? I got so many comments from you guys. Some people are telling me I need to be covering my skooma, my kills. Others are like, Trudy, never cover the kills. You know, if you cover them, it's even worse because it becomes hot. Ah, 
you know but anyway i enjoyed the advice you guys gave me so i want to give you my farm update are you guys ready <laughs> drop a comment let me know what you think so yeah so this is my farm update uh a friend of ours here in ghana brought us kuma wiki and uh we planted here not only did we plant but they also brought us manure um, if you're watching this video thank you so much uh, so the manure we planted it into the ground surrounding the kills this is also spinach kills and spinach as well so yeah most of the ones that i came with from kenya unfortunately all of them like almost all of them died the only surviving ones i don't know if you guys can see the difference the only surviving ones are this one um this one and that one the others are on the other side oh yeah and this one and this one i think these guys also got their kills from kenya the guy who uh brought us some here but this ones look a little different apparently that one over there is the one that can grow that one it can grow really really tall and you can pluck the branches and plant them as kuma wiki you know very interesting so this is our farm this is what it looks like and yes it was weeded i remember the last time there was uh, there was lots of weeds here so we we removed the weeds and the, this is the pepe we got some pepe and that is the garden egg over there um yeah here i have a few skuma wikis that are still surviving got this um, yeah, apparently it was a fungal infection that was affecting our skuma wiki and uh, I was advised to get the neem plant, boil it, add a little soap to the water and spray it. The reason you add the soap is so that it can stick. So yeah, this is my farm update. I'm still looking to plant more vegetables here like contomre, onions, mm, what else? What else should I plant back here? I was thinking contemporary definitely because my favorite Ghanaian vegetable contemporary and uh, onions because I already have pepe I'm open for advice guys so advise me advise me let me know I'm gonna throw the weeds these are the weeds three hours later good are you excited okay let's go Kumasi here we come here we are on the way. Kumasi, <laughs> Tamale, ah? Takoradi, Sekondi. Eh? Maya, morning. Morning. Yes. You're going to Kumasi? Yeah. Alright. You'll we'll, we'll, we'll have a great time in Kumasi. Yeah, thanks. I've, yeah. Heard, I've heard that you're remaining behind. Yeah, I. I have so much work to do because mm -hmm. I've been traveling, so mm -hmm. I need to make sure I get it done. Otherwise, yes. uh, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Hi guys, good morning. Um, I hope you are taking him to um, this place, uh, the Queen, the King's Museum. Yeah. Addressing the Ghana. Uh, are you seeing the top? Guess the top, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, is my, my, my is gonna help you. He's organizing us. He's helping us meet someone who's gonna take us around. Oh. Guys. What do you think of my outfit of the day? Uh, it is made in Ghana by my friend Viglo's mom. She's so sweet. Um, yeah, she just sent it over. I love it. Do you think I should tuck it in or leave it like this? Let me know, rate my outfit in the comment section. About my hair, I was to fix it here in Ghana, but uh, it came up that I was going to Kenya. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna let my cousin do it in Kenya. And then plans changed again. I'm not going to Kenya anytime soon. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna do it in Ghana. <laughs> it's been really confusing, but uh, I think I still look good. This place is owned by 
Maya's family. <laughs> Should I say your family? <laughs> Maya's family owns this place in Kumasi. So this is where we are going to be. Just came back from the wedding. So. Yeah, he, the son is the, is the reason why Maya went to Nigeria for their wedding. Mm -hmm. And so Maya just made a call and uh, we got, you know, the place to stay in Kumasi, which is not just a place to stay, but it's the best place to stay whenever you go to Kumasi. I'm going to leave their details below. So whenever you're going to Kumasi and you're wondering, oh, where, where, where am I going to sleep? We're going to link you up. We're going to sort you out. This is the best way to spend my birthday with my family. Thank you, babes. It's not a birthday celebration? Yeah, it's my birthday. Yeah. questions about Kumasi and I'd be like Dad, I don't know I've only gone to Kumasi once long ago when we were broke and we went with my tattoo <laughs> you know <remember> that <laughs> we slept in a we've, we've always been broke yeah, yeah we slept we in still, a certain was it a two, two, 20 dollar room you know yeah, it was, so, was it 20 dollar yeah it was crazy was it 20 dollar oh, or 10 dollar room it was 10 dollar each person can you imagine each person paid 10 dollars well, I still remember yeah, of course the other day we, we took a road trip to Takoradi. I'm gonna put up the video soon. Um, and Maya drove us to Takoradi, and then we were seeing the buses. And Maya was like, Remember these buses? Because you always used to go with those buses to Takoradi. So we've come a long way. These days we just fly to Takoradi. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Things have changed, you know. So if you're watching this video, are gonna change for the better no matter what situation you're in right now don't give up so that's what's up so here we are going to the airport i'm very excited unfortunately he's not gonna be there because uh he's busy Why is it because i didn't book the ticket for you you gave me the money and you booked only for my family sorry babes next time okay Airport. This is a local airport. This is my dad's first time flying within Ghana. Yeah, sometimes we fly from Nairobi to Kisumu, Nairobi from to Mombasa, what but from like Accra to Passion Air. Oh. Passion Air. Mm. That's the same people that I want to meet. Eh? Mm -hmm. I wanted to work with you. Yeah, what that's small money they didn't want to pay for it. Ah. You know, this is my problem with Ghanaian brands. Mm -hmm. And when you work, it's a year, not, 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 not like a one-time thing, a year, mm. you know, but anyway, it is what it is, it is what it is, you know, you try to support local brands, when it's about them supporting you, it becomes a problem, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about anything, but it is what it is, man, I mean, no matter what happens, we'll always support you, whether you pay for the support or not. Just because you're an African brand. We will support you. But what we are saying is like, when you work with us, you get your value. At the end of the day, take some money from your pocket. That's it. It's like a, it's like it was small money for like, you know. But anyway, it disappeared. It is what it is. Anyway. Uh, it's one of those things. Flying today. Hey Judith, are you flying? Hello, can you hear me? Hey guys, my dad has forgotten his hear you. passport and his ID. And we don't know if he can allow can us hear you, to fly Judith. Can you hear me? Without these documents. Uh, so they told you don't know what to do, you don't know if you have to go back home. Do you have any 
need to any photo of the I have a photo of my dad's ID. Passport? No, I just have my dad's uh, ID, Kenyan ID. I don't have passport. What are we gonna do? Do you have a key to the house or somebody come? Gibson has a key. Why can't I just go back home and fly? Mm. The only thing is, go back. You, you just go back sure home and that's you go ahead. That's not possible. Because even the way we are standing, time is ticking by, so I can just go home and. Fly. This was crazy. We had to drive back home. We went, got my dad's passport, and then drove back to the airport. Thank God we made it. We're here. Hey. Yeah. Thank you. Someone says, Wode Mayoya, chief driver, Wode Mayoya. <laughs> Our chief driver has been Wode Mayoya. Ode Mayoya. That's a name he was given in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. But I would like to turn up before I go. Okay. You know that uh, song picture is for Ode Mayoya. Ah, that I should have said early. Hmm? But I will play it for this video for people to understand. Ode mm -hmm. Mayoya. Yeah, 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 yeah. My dad loves his song. What do you have to say? Song. Hmm? Yeah. Why does it you make mind? you angry? Why are you mad? Mind. Oh, yeah. You should uh, make it as a rule that in your house, mm -hmm. they should be watching you at least for one hour <laughs> every day. The way I do when I'm back in the room. Yeah. I'll, yes. I'll let them know. Truly. Hmm? I think I have told you. You watch Maya an hour every day? Every day. Oh, wow. That's true love. If that's not love, what is? Guys, update. We made it back home. My dad got his... Hey, dad is smiling. My dad got his passport. <laughs> And uh, we are back at the airport on time and we are going, we are heading to Kumasi. We are officially heading to Kumasi. Yay! Yeah. Hey, finally! This is one place my dad has really wanted to go, so it's very, very exciting. Kumasi, here we come! <laughs> Kumasi! Hey, you think I'm from there, the way I'm excited. <laughs> Guys, so I found this bag in my things. This bag is uh, a bag we are given in Barbados with our souvenirs. And I found some sunglasses inside here. Branded Barbados. So I, think, uh, I don't know where my sunglasses have gone. My sunglasses are super expensive. Like $150, but I can't find them. So I think I'm going to use this one. Let's see how they look for me. And the good thing about this one, they protect us from UV lights. So I think this will do for now. How do I look? And I have a couple, so I'm gonna give this to my dad. Dad needs sunglasses. And this to my brother. Guys, my dad is so friendly. I just came back from the loo and uh, he's here having a conversation with a random stranger. He does this all the time. <laughs> you guys can see Kenya Airways ahead. Huh? Kenya Airways plane. <laughs> yeah. Guys, our flight was delayed a little. Uh, so we are leaving now but it's better late than ever so yeah this is us heading to Kumasi if you're from Kumasi make sure you subscribe and share this video and uh, drop a comment let me know what you love the most about Kumasi and let me know where you think we need to visit for that Kumasi I was all about the king uh, I should visit the king 
I don't know the palace in Kumasi. If you guys um, don't know it yet, Kumasi is the capital of the Ashanti region, and uh, they have a king. So guys, I suggest that you should go and visit the king. I don't know. Where, where else do you think we need to visit? Drop a comment and let us know. Goodbye Accra, hello Kumasi. <laughs> I realized that for most of the trip, my dad was just looking outside his window. Um, yeah, I think he really, really enjoyed the view. Uh, we had some turbulence, but we were not frightened because the pilot has uh, had told us beforehand. Um, yeah, long story short, uh, it took us about 40 minutes to fly from Accra to Kumasi and uh, it was worth it. My dad always gets excited when he's boarding or uh, coming off the plane and it is so satisfying to me how excited he gets. I only wish my mom was here so I could give her the same kind of treatment but unfortunately she's not so I'm just gonna do the best that I can with my dad and I'm grateful. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. So finally in Kumasi. Kumasi baby. Welcome to Kumasi. Baby. Remember what my dad was telling me this morning? <laughs> he finally remembered the names of these teams. Dad, you're saying the teams are called what? Yeah. The teams, the football teams. Asante Kotoko Football Club. From Kumasi. You knew it you, you knew it even without coming to Ghana. It means they were a big team. Huh? Yes, yeah, when I was in Kenya, Asante Kotoko used to be one of the teams which were highly. the foot 
football team it means yeah. they have money yeah. <laughs> like it means the they're team, okay he said Asante got off this if you kill thousand thousand yeah. will come if you kill thousand thousand will come Ipuma Puma you kill thousand thousand will come what does it mean if you kill a thousand? Why would you kill a thousand? <laughs> 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 what does it mean if you kill a thousand and they come? I said they will explain everything. Oh, they will explain, yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll ask them. The Ice Cafe Cultural Village. The restaurant is here. The, the woman you greeted, the owner of this place. One. Welcome to Ike's Cultural Village. I'm bringing my family over for vacation. I surprised them, and what better place to bring them here in Kumasi other than Ike's? So come with me, let me give you guys a tour. So, what I love most about this place is how African it is. And it displays the Ashanti culture. Look at this art, for example. This is <laughs> very, very unique. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Let me give you a house tour. Let me show you where we've been staying here. Yeah? Mm. This hut is very traditional, and it still have a touch. It still has a touch of you know the modern kind of lifestyle. So come with me. <laughs> So this is the living area. I am in love with this space. Look at the curtains. I feel like we need to use more such curtains because they're so African. The material is African and still very, very unique. The chairs are very unique. I will have your dining area over here. I mean, got your screen. And still in this room, you have unique pieces of art, like this big shell where you can put your, you know, um, your TV remote and your AC controller here as well you have study space here at your screen um and look at this piece of art unique or unique come in let me keep taking you guys around what i love most about this house is the fact that it has a kitchen you know sometimes when you go to resorts you don't have a kitchen therefore it means you have to keep buying food so although they have a restaurant here you can still buy your own food and cook it inside here come let me show you what i mean here is the kitchen you have a built-in cooker so you can cook here, you've got your fridge. Um, oh, I love the fact that they give us such drinks. And uh, this is, I thought this was an alcoholic drink, but apparently it's not. It's made from palm. And um, okay, it has like 1% level of alcohol. That's not a lot. At least that's what Maya told me. Ghanaians, let me know. Drop a comment, let me know. But I love the fact that you're welcome with such drinks. And of course you've got your, you know, your Milo. They also give you a shortcake. Uh, they give you coffee, tea, and some milk. Um, now that I've shown you the kitchen, come with me. Let me show you the bedroom. Uh, immediately you walk into the bedroom, you have your washroom here. Wow, this place is huge. I love, 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 love these um, stones that they have used. Uh, guys, unique or unique? Unique or unique? Look at this mirror very african look at this shower huge space you know and there's sufficient lighting coming through you've got your loo over here man uh, i want to do this in my house i want to put stones like this in my bathroom make it make, it makes it feel so earthy you feel like you're in touch with the earth come with me let me show you more oh look at this laundry basket cute Welcome to the bedroom. Here we have a king size bed. What? Ah, uh, so many pillows. This is my kind of bed. I love when I have many pillows on my bed. But then this turns out for me. This is very African. Look at this. Very, very, very African. I just love it. I just love it. I've got enough uh, sitting space. I see this is not enough. You have somewhere else you can sit on the other end. Guys, this is something very unique to Ghana. It is a symbol, a national symbol are used all around Ghana. So Ghanaians, tell us more about this in the comment section. Is it called the Idinkra, Idinkra symbol? Drop a comment, let me know. Of course you have your screen here. We have a screen in the sitting room and we have a screen in the bedroom. Come with me. 
This is the outdoor space. Now this here will blow your mind. I mean, immediately you walk in, pieces of art stand out. Look at this chair, uniquely crafted to fit this space. And it fits with everything else here. You can look at that chair, look at the table. Oh, now this is extremely unique. You have a bar area here. Where you could serve, you could get served, or you could serve yourself cocktails and drinks. Uh, depending on what you want, you've got you know different varieties here. And uh, I love this space because it's it gives you a touch of the outdoor, but not really. See, so it's somewhere in between. Look at these unique pieces. Oh my god, yes. And I see the TVs you had were not enough. You've got another screen up there. Is this a bad house? This is a bad house. Yep. Oh, cute or cute. Oh my god, I love, love, love this space. Of course, you've got fans to keep you guys cool. So, yeah, this has been where we are staying here in Kumasi. I'm so in love with this place. So, whenever you come to Kumasi, feel free to come and live here as well. And the best part about it is they're also affordable. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> there is a camera. My dad taking a camera to show people how good this place looks. The excitement and everything, this is all due to Miss Trudy. Subscribe. Bonyeza. Subscribe. Bonyeza. Subscribe. Thank you. Guys, yes. my dad said it. Mm. Thanks. A place of Asante culture. When they say Asante culture, what do they mean? So, here, when you come here, we teach you the culture of Asante region. Okay. Oh, it's not a Shanti region, it's a Asante region. Asante culture. Okay. Because we are found within the heart of the Ashanti, so we always portray the culture of the Ashanti people here. Mm, okay. So when you come here, you find the culture of how to eat with your hands, mm. as we do it in our various home. Yeah, okay. That's what we do here. And then here is a boutique hotel, and then um, this hotel was built to honor the Ashanti women who have made impact in the lives of people in the Kumasi. That's why they named this um, various room after the those women oh okay, okay. Yeah. so if you look at here is nana brago the room that you, you yeah it's called nana brago then we have nana santo ababu and then um and the queen we had on the third that that shanty uh, the current one mm -hmm. and we name some of the rooms after them okay uh, dad please put for me this in your pocket then, i'll take it we also have Tortoise farm here. Oh wow, it's a tortoise about, farm. Yeah, about 26 tortoises here. Wow, so yeah. these are tortoises? Yeah, they are the tortoises. How can they breathe? They breathe. But they are, all of it is inside the water. That. So we have two oh, types the turtle yeah. and the tortoise. Ooh. Is that a snail or a tortoise? Tortoise. Oh my god. Touch it and see. No. No, touch it. It won't do anything. Just touch it. Mm hmm. It's so hard. Yeah, that is, uh, is he feeling pain when you do no. this? Is also this one. So this is a different kind and then we have this type too. Where is the other type? Are they alive? Yeah, they are alive. This is another oh. type. So we have the turtle and the tortoise. Oh, so this, this, is one, the... this one is mostly found on the earth and then the other one mostly in water. In water. water. Yeah. Yeah. We have a cooking class here. So what cooking class? Cooking class. Yes. Yeah. So oh, if wow. you want to learn how local dishes is being prepared, here is a class that will take you through. Oh wow! So we prepare a go. We prepare a top. We prepare wache. We prepare gobe. You know gobe, right? No, which one is that? Um, I will, I will teach you how to prepare gobe. And then we also prepare for food and then I can see everything. That's everything local. Local oh. food. That's the place that we need to I mean, teach those who are interested to, to learn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So let's go to the other side. It's very windy. Looks like it's gonna rain heavily. So 
of those so let's go to the other side you're sleeping there you are not allowed to come oh it's only of course i talk to myself sometimes i need expert advice <laughs> this nice one oh wow so here you call here palm garden palm garden yeah, palm garden wow you go here palm garden so this is the breakfast room mm -hmm. you can sit here to eat here this is really nice i love the view yeah, yeah, and then so what time is your breakfast the breakfast is 7 30 to 9 30 mm -hmm. in the morning what do you offer in your spa? The spa we offer three types of food. That's a massage. We have, uh -huh. we have the Swedish massage, we have the deep tissue massage, and then we have the postal massage. Okay. Yeah. We have three seedlings. Yeah. Three seedlings. Do you sell three seedlings? No. From three seedlings. Yeah. No, no, no. Small one, three types. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you can get it somewhere. So tomorrow morning I'll ask our dad to bring it. I don't really have the idea of it, but our gardener will come tomorrow and then I'll have some to you and it's very good. This is a really nice place to take breakfast. Yes, yeah. Wow. Up here. Can you go up there? Okay. It's our conference hall. We want to see the conference hall. Let's see the conference hall. And then after that, we, go, we, we, we call it a day. Oh, okay. Then. If possible, let's stop here tomorrow. Then you continue. Yeah. So let's go straight to the restaurant for you to have some. Okay. Bye bye. Wow. This looks amazing. Uh, let me show you guys. It's like, are we in or out? I mean, look at this. Wow. I love how it's green, very green, even, even though we are inside. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. He's the owner of this place. He's the owner of this place. Yeah, the, the woman you met earlier was the wife. Yeah. They are all Nigerian. Ghani no, they are Ghanaians. It's their son who was getting married to a Ghanaian. The wedding that Maya went to attend. Yeah. So. Hello. Guys, look at this. So beautiful. Wow, perfect for dining, for a date. That's what I'm telling you guys when you come to Kumasi, come here. So it has started raining very, very heavily. And this is where I'm going to leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I love you so much. Make sure you subscribe. And until next time, bye.